The Costa Groves Limited, a wholly owned Ghanaian organic juice processing factory, has been dormant for over 14 years. According to residents of Asebu in the central region where the factory is located, the inability of the factory to function has denied, particularly the youth of the community, the opportunity to decent jobs. The dormant nature of the factory prompted the German corporation, GIZ, together with the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, to come to the aid of the community by seeing to it that the factory was made to function. According to the head of sustainable economic development at GIZ, Gerard Gokoski, the ability of the factory to function is important since it has high impact on employment, market opportunities, environmental sustainability, and above all, improve the business ecosystem. The agricultural sector in Ghana is noted to serve as a primary source of employment, livelihood, food security for most rural folks, and it accounts for one-fifth of the country's GDP and employs nearly half of its labor force. The head of sustainable economic development at GIZ believes revamping the juice factory has the potential to reduce rural urban migration and also create jobs in the rural areas. In the central region, we, we have some projects um, that are also supported in the central region, but uh, from this Invest for Jobs initiative, it's the first one. And, and uh, for us, it's important to also target uh, the rural areas and uh, um, the, the objective is always job creation and we think we, it's very important to create also jobs in the rural areas to avoid overcrowding in Accra. We've, um, you know, we've provided a grant to them and also uh, have another, we call it subsidy and with this uh, we are supporting it to get the whole factory going again. That's our vision and um, otherwise we would not have invested in this. So yeah, we have um, quite a lot of areas, so we are not only focusing on certain areas, but um, of course the strong element is uh, the area of agro-processing, okay. because um, there are quite a big part of the population is living in rural areas, and there is of course agriculture, and um, we see also a lot of potential in further processing of fruit, vegetables, etc. in Ghana. The managing director of the company, Daniel Dangwa, says revamping the factory will increase employment in the enclave as the over 162 employees who were laid off will be brought back. Additionally, the factory will employ over 3,000 outgrowers to support with raw materials. When we start, we will bring back the 162 employees we originally hired. That was, um, that did not include the cassava project because the cassava project started, the cassava project started about four years ago. So if I do my calculations right, the cassava will also take about 70 additional employees. So within the first year, we hope to have minimum 230 employees here. The agroers will also go up from the 3,000 to probably about 3,500. I want us to do this right, uh, use all the raw materials to do something and have others copy from us.